What if tigers and lions coexisted in Africa? Since our own ancestry comes from the continent of Africa, we may all be excused for thinking of it as the home of all creatures. And it is true that Africa is where the tiger's ancestors came from. The biggest of the big cats, the tiger, does not reside in Africa. Tigers are not one of the many giant cats and other predators that can be found across the continent. There are 13 nations in Asia where wild tigers can be found. Before we begin, I wanted to reaffirm that you should subscribe to the Z channel if you want to see more videos about animals, including extinct animals. Tigers in the wild have a wide range of habitats that make up their natural habitat. They can be found in grasslands, mangrove swamps, and even rocky habitats, though they are most frequently seen in forested areas. China, Indonesia, and Southeast Asia to India and some regions of Russia, these gorgeous animals can be found. The populations of many tiger subspecies are now at risk or seriously threatened, despite the fact that their former range was previously relatively extensive due to poaching and habitat destruction. There are only about 4,000 tigers left in Asia's wild. In reality, a tiger's coat may change colors. A Bengal tiger's typical coloring consists of an orange body with black side stripes. Bengal tiger males can reach up to 550 pounds, 180 to 250 kilograms, while females typically weigh between 220 and 353 pounds, 100 to 160 kilograms. Siberian tigers can reach adult male weights of 700 pounds, 320 kilograms, while females can reach weights of 400 pounds, 180 kilograms. Why don't tigers exist in Africa? We now know that wild tigers are not native to Africa, despite the fact that you easily picture them blending in as predators with the continent's other animals. In reality, tigers, lions, and leopards all descended from the same big cat progenitor. They are all felids, which are cats that have their origins in Africa. The ancestral felidae that gave rise to the striped tigers came to Asia around 2 million years ago. The actual reason why tigers never returned to Africa after developing and staying in Asia is unknown to scientists. It is assumed that it was rendered impossible by tectonic shifts, time, and geographic limitations. Whatever the precise cause, the modern tiger has never lived in Africa. Could tigers survive in Africa? Tigers obviously enjoy water, therefore it seems to reason that they would detest Africa. As for food, I don't believe tigers would have a problem with it as it is known that they eat ungulates in Africa as well as Asia. If a leopard, which lives a lifestyle similar to that of a tiger, can live there and hunt, then a tiger most certainly could. But in this instance, the opposition will show up. Africa undoubtedly already has its top predators. Hyenas that live in clans and prides of lions. 
Whatever you imagine might happen in a one-on-one -on -one encounter, a lone tiger would have no chance against a pack of these foes. If a tiger is able to hunt and kill an animal on the plains, he will either have to give the animal supper to scavengers like lions or hyenas, or he will have to fight to the death. Last but not least, a tiger would not only need to be concerned about lions and hyenas. Additionally, there are hippos and cape buffaloes, two creatures that are much more hostile than anything the tiger encounters in its natural habitat. Imagine a tiger attempting to swim in a watering hole and being met by a crocodile or a hippos. In any case, tigers can adapt well to the environment if they are introduced to Africa. Unexpectedly, tigers camouflage blends in well with the terrain in Africa. In their new environment, the African savanna, they will begin to adapt. They will begin hunting giraffes, zebras, cape buffalo, now crocodiles, and other animals. They will eventually begin tolerating heat. The tiger has the physical strength to live in Africa. It is comparable to a lion in terms of size, speed, and weight. Competition will be the source of the issues. Since tigers' ancient range included everything from the arid deserts of the Arabian Peninsula to the warm, tropical jungles of southern China and Indonesia, the continent of Africa offers a wide variety of habitats, and tigers are known for their ability to adapt to a wide variety of settings. To fill a specific void in nature, various species have developed over thousands, if not millions, of years. This is not to suggest that they wouldn't be able to hunt African game, as has been demonstrated at the Lauhu Valley Reserve, which was established on what were once sheep ranches in the South African province of the Free State. In the recent past, tigers and lions did coexist in India, with lions at the grasslands and savannas and tigers closer to the forests. However, as these two apex predators hunt for the same prey, their territories occasionally overlapped in the periphery, resulting in some conflict. No. Tigers frequently live in big prides with two or more males, 10 to 15 or more females, and subadults, therefore a lone tiger would be killed. In Africa, the lion serves as the top predator. Tigers may be able to survive in the rainforest of the African Congo Basin, but this is another reason not to introduce them to the continent because they would prey on the endangered chimpanzees and gorillas. They would have a negative effect on the leopard population in the African jungle. In light of what I have indicated, if tigers are introduced to Africa, it is likely that they will eventually form social groupings, much like lions do. and engage in coalition hunting. What do you think? Please respond in the comments section. Alright everyone this is it for now, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get more wildlife documentary videos.